Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome to the pit for the next match, Young Holland and Danish football club from St. Lucia. Tawake, mi tawake, se que boquisa. And here we go for the second match. The local boys are gonna take it against the guys from St. Lucia Pace Football Club. Local champions Young Holland will be playing in the red, white, and blue. And they're coming out in their golden jersey as the guys from St. Lucia are coming in red and white. Yes, this is the Curso local champion. We are in the Stadion. Ergilio Hato of Curaçao. And we're going to give you the second match of today in the Club Shield, in the Caribbean Club Shield, as the teams stand await, of course, for the referees to start this another great match that we're going to be having tonight as Young Holland faces the base club from St. Lucia. The base club comes from the preliminary rounds when they beat the Eagles from St. Martin, 1-0. to zero. As we go, the teams are saluting each other in the Stadion Ergilio Hato, built in 1978 with a capacity of 10,000 in the beautiful neighborhood of Brivogat. Welcome, St. Lucians, and welcome, Curacao, to the Caribbean Football Union YouTube channel. As we go, we have, would like to have a special thanks to our partners, Macron, Marca Sports, Powerade, BLUU app, Google it, you will find it, Flow Business Curacao for this great internet connection. And also, thank you to the Federación de Football Curacao for being gracious as hosts of this great tournament. We are about to take off. We are about to take off as your Holland is in their gold, gold uniform. This is the third time that they are playing the club shield. They started the first club shield in 2019, then they played also in 2023. And now they're going to be playing 2024. They are the current champions, Curaçao. Curacao champions, as we see, the captains, Brian, taking the toss, of course, from Dwayne Baptist as the captain stand and take the pictures, ready, ready for play, of course, at this great, great tournament of the Caribbean Club Shield with our Partners Marca Sports and Macron, Federation de Football Corso, BLUU app, and of course, the nation of Curacao. As we go doing the preparations, the refereeing today. And we are ready to set off as team motivation in the middle of the field by base club from the guys from St. Lucia. Both teams are doing the last prayers because they're going to need it. This is a knockout stage. And let's see how this performance goes as Curacao is playing under the local stadium of Ergilio Hato. The teams are changing side with Curacao playing on the on the south side of the course and FC Pace Club is choosing the north side. As the whistle goes, 
Timothy Terry whistles is off in the stadion Ergilio Hato long play by Asha Bernardes with Daniel Daniel has the ball the, your Holland is a team known to be playing very wide and open into their defensive side as we can see it today but a fast play by Longville your Holland knows the field this is where we play some of our local championship games as Daniel Rosa has the ball now he plays it easily down the line for Brian Brian for Asha Asha plays it back for Brian Brian loses the ball but he gains it as Zinius Nicola goes down hard entry here very hard entry the first hard entry of the game we are live in Stadion Ergilio Hato as Brian Anastasia had a hard clash with Jones. Brian Anastasia is also a member of the national selection of Curacao. He was invited a couple of times. As we go as the first look, we are playing into the second minute, second minute of the game. This is the second game for the Bear Boys Base Club from St. Lucia. We are live. Sadion Ergilio Hato, the YouTube channel CFU. As we go by, we're going to give you some information also about the CFU. Established in 1978, the Caribbean Football Union is a representative organization for 31 football associations across the English, Dutch, French, and the beautiful Caribbean, also Spanish speaking, of course. Members compete in CONCACAF, as you all know. And it seems that Elias Jones has a serious injury here. When he clashed with Brian Anastasia, the captain. The club's field was established in 2018. And they gave it the name of Caribbean Club Shield. In 2019, we hosted it, also in Curacao. The competition has a primary objective of advancing professional football and promoting professional football throughout the Caribbean. Participation is open to semi-professional and amateurs. I hope that everything is okay with Elias Jones. Ashar Bernardo shows a worried look. He is still down and it seems like if they're gonna be having to make a substitution it's not usual that a player stays like that and gets that support and the way that they're taking him off. I hope everything is okay with Elias Jones after a hard clash with Brian Anastasia. As we go along about the club shield, participation, of course, open to semi-professional teams as Asha Bernardes. Center defense and key player of your Holland is behind the ball. He has Brian Anastasia with him as base club is defending very high cross here. As Terry whistles, this is the short goalkeeper that we were talking about. Very short, but very effective. He's, he is the shortest goalkeeper in the tournament. I'm quite sure of it. As we play, right, Karim Montesir kicks it away. And play here, Longville. Longville is trying to take it off. Brian is down. But very easy play by Dalia Rosa. He has with him Kent Sully. Asha plays it long again. And a long intent in finding, but could not, as we see. Rick Leonti 
a bit heavy defender, but quite technical. He also played in the first game as Leandit throws it long, searching for Longville. Longville loses the ball to Rosa. Rosa to Soli. Soli to Asha. Asha Bernardes. He's with the ball. He's playing it. He's looking it. He plays it back for Soli. While Base Football Club is giving Holland all the space that they need actually to play. Rosa tries to get it off. But Rio Longville. It is expected, of course, locally for Holland to win this. <laughs> It's not fair to say, but it's expected for Johanna to win this game. And the next game, uh, we don't know what happened on the other field if Arnett Gardens wins. They're going to be playing Arnett Gardens. Here, right in the middle, Sharani Rocha through George Brito. they crossing it in the middle. Played back, very dangerous. Long play by Bates Club. Ashar is there, and Johanna is taken over. The Holland is already taken over the game while we're playing six minutes. Welcome, Curacao. Welcome, Curacao. Bon Benin, a grand partido. The Holland contra the base club, the St. Lucia. We're teaching you also a bit of papiamento. Welcome, St. Lucia. And also many thanks to the Caribbean Football Union for the great work that they have there. Attack here by Holland. And it's in the middle. Sharana Pito Rocha was waiting for it. As Young Holland is showing a bit more dominance in the first seven minutes of the game. And here we go for the replay, of course. Whereas a nice cross where Rocha was waiting for the ball and almost is the first attack in the game of today. Man down again in base club. This is the second player who's down. Base cup from St. Lucia had a hard time against the Eagles. In the opening game Thursday, so they have like one day rest. And they played in the afternoon. In the hot sun. So their players should be a bit stiff. That's, uh, that's, the, that's the issue of the Korean Club Shield. Within 10 days, teams might be playing a lot of games. Here we see the player taken off as Jan Holland is watching. Soli is there. Maria is there. While Shurandal Roche is walking towards the goal and behind the ball again, he takes all the free kicks. It's Ashar Bernardes, very, re very known player in Curacao. He's given it cross on the side by the goal defended by Shurel Maturin. Very, very short keeper, but don't underestimate his capabilities. As Johanna goes for the corner kick again, Ashar. He's crossing it in the hands, as we said, of Jarel Maturin. He has it. And he's going to play it very long. Looking for Longville. Longville here. The winger not getting out at all. It's going to be a hard day for base football club. But as they say, it's football papa. Just what happened with the Metropolitan. As we go, Defense Force in a surprising defeat in the prior game against Pantoja. Defense Force was one of the heavy favorites to go with the title. As Robin Hood, the current champions, are watching all the games. They're going to be playing tomorrow. As Base Club tries to get out of uh, Holland here, it's going to be tough for them tonight. With the Holland playing at home and putting the necessary pressure. Of course, welcome again, St. Lucians watching us on the Caribbean Football Union YouTube channel as Young Holland takes on Base Club from St. Lucia. 
Ja, Holland is giving little space of play, of course, as they keep hunting on and getting Leonti, getting, forcing Leonti to play the ball as they try to play off, but uh, no chance. This pressure is going to keep on going the whole night, of course. As Rosa is watching and he's bringing it back to Sali. Sali back to Asha. Yeah, Holland is at least uh, at least five months without routine, without routine play, since the local championship has not been playing for five months. As they go, and right now is Gaspar. He's he's waiting. He has Twain Maria with him, and there's a goal. There's the goal. First goal by Rosa. We think it's Rosa that scored the goal. Here goes, here is the play right in front of the goal. And Rosa knocks it in, of course. This is for the first goal in at least 11 minutes. So base club has to play. Nice goal by Young Holland. Young Holland won. Young Holland won. This is the goal right here that you have that you see it then during the replay. Early goal at the 11 minutes. As base club tries to continue. It's going to be a hard night for them, of course. We are playing the 12th minute as we go along. Base club, long play into the defensive end, comes out, keeper, knocked out by Brian. There's a hard entry, rejected by Gaspar. Welcome to the Stadion Ergilio Hato of Curacao. As the St. Lucians take on the Young Hollands. Johanland is the oldest playing football team in the Dutch Caribbean. I think even in one, throughout the Caribbean maybe, they exist for 105 years. When the Catholic pastors introduced soccer to the island 105 years ago. As we play, Longville loses it with Rosa. As Terry makes his whistle. 1-0. Lennox Morris, the coach, an ex-international for Curacao, is playing. Behind the ball. Played in the middle as base club tried to get hold of this game. Very attack by Nicolas. Brian has it. He's playing it with Gaspar. Gaspar plays back for Ashar. Ashar plays back for Gaspar as they open up with Brian. Bad pass. Very bad pass. Dangerous pass, actually. As we go by the 14th minute of play, base club trying to get the equalizer as their captain, Dwayne Baptiste. tries to get into the game as Zinius Nicolas is leaving the ball it looks like Leonti hard throw in headed away By Young Holland. As Dwayne Maria kicks it long.
Played back by Nick Longville. As Longville try, there's two Longvilles in the game. Gaspar from Young Holland, he has it, he plays it back to his keeper. Bonifacio, Bonifacio call, gives a long kick into defensive end of base club. Long cross, here by Rocha. Rocha goes in, he crosses this again. But kicked out as Rosa comes out and plays it for Brito. And Terry whistles free kick for base club. Slow start by base club. As Karim Mondesir is behind the ball. Long kick by Mondesir. Sali has it. He plays it for Gaspar. There you go. By Brito. And now it's Jones who's playing it, trying to find it. But Sali kicks it out. Comfortable play by uh, Young Holland. As Anthony Wilfred loses it. And Rosa. Rosa also loses it as the ball goes back into the hands of Bonifacio. We are playing at the Stadion Ergilio Hato, capacity of 10,000, built in 1978. Long play. And there goes. He misses it. He misses it. Davidson Rosa. Easy goal. But then quick reaction of Remy Bonifacio. A long pass. Here we see Davidson Rosa. Davidson Rosa loses it with a bad touch. And then Remy Bonifacio, he, he loses it as Jarel Matilda Maturin comes to the ball. Great save. Fast reaction by the base, FC base goalkeeper. Empty goal by Davidson Rosa as everybody is asking what happened. As Jaholland Holland loses his second opportunity as the local playing club. Base club is gonna have a difficult night tonight coming from a hard play from Eagles as Jones loses the ball. And then again, Jarrell Maturin is there as they, as they are trying to get out through their captain, Dwayne Baptiste. Hard play again as Ashar is trying to hold off as a long cross into the hands of Bonis Remy Bonifacio. Remy is putting the ball down. He has Sully with him. He plays it long. In search of Gaspar. Gaspar trying to fight it off, but he loses it with Baptiste. Little ball possession of base club. As Jan Holland dominates uh, the first 20 minutes of the game. As they are playing. Coming back with Asha Bernardes with Sully. Sully with Rosa. Rosa tips it. Nice play. With Brito. Brito is fighting it off. He puts it into the hole, but bad pass. Go again against Jones. Jones try with Longville. I think it was Longville was the scorer. Longville was the scorer of the goal that the base club won the Eagles with. They are playing now against Curacao, a much stronger team, Jan Holland. Three to four times champion in a row. As the ball plays in the middle. Long play here. By Anthony Wilfred. Long cross dominated. Then there goes the kick. It looks like it's a corner.
as Bonifacio has it, he plays it long. Here we see the replay again. We can see the replay off. It's going off to a corner. This is uh, the first corner of the game for FC Base Club. We're back in the game, of course, with Maria fighting it off, trying to get through the goal into the hands of Shirell. Ergilio Hato Stadium in the nice neighborhood of Bivagat, our national stadium. Welcome to the Caribbean Football Union, established in 1978, of course. 31 football associations are members of the CFU, and we are right now playing, showing you the game at the YouTube channel of the Caribbean Football Union as Young Holland is trying to get away here into a second goal. The CFU's motto is, motto is passion, purpose, and performance. Welcome St. Lucia to Curaçao. And welcome Caribbean Football Union. And thank you for having us hosting this great tournament. 10 days of competition, 20 games in a knockout system. The team that loses goes out and up to now, we did not have any opportunity of having penalties. As we go into the 22nd, it's Baptiste receiving the ball. As Nicolas, Zinius Nicolas, tries to get away from Gaspar with not, no luck. As in the middle, Rwanda Roche is trying to give instructions with Brito hanging into the midfield to get that fast pass, that breakthrough. As Karim Mondesir throws it again, very long throw into the penalty area defended by Young Holland of Curaçao. They're going to have a corner kick. As Rashad Eugene a bit heavy, the players of uh, of base club, as we said in the game prior, but technically they are very, very good. As we see here, Anthony Wilfred is behind the ball. He's kicking it. There goes, rejected by Ashar, brought back into the game. Dangerous play in front of the goal of Young Holland as the ball hits into the body of a player with Anthony Wilfred going back again at it. Young Holland trying to get away with it, but Baptiste tries to start, tries to kick it. As we go into the 29th minute, man down for Young Holland. Not a very technical game, a bit erratic the first 29 minutes. As we see Elias Jones getting assistance that's the result of encounter with Brian Brian Anastasia at the beginning of the game as Ken Solly walks over to Ashar and see who's down it's not so serious here we see the replay of course a lot of a lot of uh, action in front of the goal. Goal kick for Bonifacio of Young Holland. As you go into the 25th minute of game, low technical game as base club is trying to defend and not getting through. Shorenda Rocha playing for a guard. 
Here with Brian Anastasia fighting it off with Zinius Nicolas. As we go along, this game still not trying to settle down with a lot of uh, high balls, little technical play, a lot of uh, hunting, a lot of rough play, little football. As Rashid Eugene tries to put an obstacle for Asha, who plays it in the middle. Longville here kicks it. Solly has it. The ball is still not down. Still playing with Brito. They, they are trying to get the ball. Physically hard team. As Longville, Nicolas cross it over. Brian Anastasia has it. He tries to keep it. They kick it away again. Very physical game. Dominated here. And now Baptiste right in the middle into the hands of Bonifacia. Elias Jones tries to get it. After the goal, Bates Football Club is starting to put pressure on your Holland here in the Stadion Ergilio Hato, National Stadium of Curacao. As young Holland is trying to come down. Here is the replay again as we see the kickoff. Long pass. Here we go again as the game continues. In the middle of the field as Rosa tries to defend. Dominated here. Dominated here by Rocha, by Pito. Long play. Rosa has it. Physically hard playing Longville. He's going in. He has another Longville on him. They cross it. No chance. As Dwight Maria takes the ball, but Bates Club. It's attacking your Holland with the ball going on the head of Remy Bonifacio. Goal kick by Remy Bonifacio. He's going long with the ball. As Karim Mondes here tries to take it away. Karim Mondes here, number 22. It's a central defender for base club. As Rick Leonti, as Rick Leonti has changed, was substituted in the early minutes of the game. There we go, long pass. Base club, Sol is fighting it off with Elias Jones. Nick Longville wants to take it out, but they're asking him to let the ball down as we go into the Stadion. Ergilio Hato of Curacao. Dominated here, long ball in the middle. As Sully comes out, he heads it off. Dominated, Rosa's trying to get it. He gets away from it. It's Rosa with it, David Rosa. He gets into between. Hard entry here. Yellow card. Yellow card is given out. Hard entry on Rosa. Here you see the play. He gets in between both players. But there goes the hard play and he goes down. Causing a yellow card. Rosa down. Davidson Rosa. 
the man who almost, almost made the second goal for Young Holland. As Asha Bernardes is behind the ball, he can kick it in or he can try to get a header with a long cross as we go into the 30th minute of this game. With all the St. Lucians watching the game, you are in the beautiful neighborhood of Brivachat, Stadion Ergilio Hato. And the people are asking, goal? Arch is there. There he goes. Into the hands of Brejurel Maturin, the shortest keeper in the competition. The shortest keeper in the competition. As we continue with the game in the Stadion Ergilio Hato, playing 31 minutes. Not a very good technical game, as tactically both teams are trying with long passes, making it an unattractive game as Maturin has it in his hands and he throws it long kick into the middle with Brian Anastasia trying to get it. He gets it. He has it. He plays it for Rosa. Rosa passes by. Fast play by Rosa. Again. Cross. -y. Great cross by Rosa. A bit fast. He's a bit fast for Kareem Mondes here in the, in the middle. As now, Elias Jones is going with the ball. Davidson Rosa is down. He plays it for Solly. Solly has it for Gaspar. Gaspar plays it. Long play into the hands of uh, Maturin as we play the 32nd minute of the game. St. Lucia against Curacao, base club against Young Holland. Rome's Catholic Sport Vereniging. Young Holland playing in, uh, in gold, gold uniform today. Their basic color is uh, and fast uh, pass again, but Mondesir has it. He plays it. He tries to get it to Jones as Baptist taken away here by Jones. He's going to try to have a fine long pass, but Asha Bernardes has it. He has Gaspar. Curacao, Johan is trying to get out. You can see they are uh, out of routine. About six, six months or five months without playing a game competition in Curacao. As they go along with Brito. And Derry. Derry whistles again. There's a change. Early change of Jan Holland. Sol is going out. Sol is going out. And Dahl comes in. Sally comes out for Dahl. Another replay here. Another attack. Very hard to kick. And Maturin is, uh, is not happy about it as Holland goes into the right corner. Long, long cross here by Dahl. Long cross here by Rosa. As uh, we are trying to get into the 35th minute of play. 
Yeah, Holland completely out of rhythm. Not at the level that we are used to seeing this team play football in Curaçao. So which gives actually base football club quite a chance against the Curaçao champions. Played in the middle. In the hands of Bonifacio. Down. Anastasia. He went to play center defense as Dahl went into, into the midfield. Hard entry here on the part of, uh, I think it's Peter Rocha did that entry as uh, Mondes here walks to the ball. And now they put whole bandages around the, uh, around the chin of uh, Elias Jones, as you can see. Mondes here behind the ball. Long cross by Mondes here. Skits off to a corner kick in favor of football, base football club as we go into the 36th minute of play in the Ergilio Hato Stadium. Brought to you by the Caribbean Football Union. Anthony Wilfred is behind the ball. This is the second game in two days that football club, base football club, is playing. There we go for a kick. Long cross. Headed out by your Holland. And there we go. Dominated here by Nicholas Longville. As Derry whistles again in a very erratic game tonight in the Ergilio Hato. With the supporters, of course going for your Holland. As we go along, it's Dahl for Gaspar. Gaspar is playing it long. He has Brian Anastasia for Asha Bernardes. Long play as he likes to play it. Very long play here. As Pito Rocha loses the ball. Sir Wendell Rocha throws it immediately in. As your Holland keeps trying. Dahl, he touches it here. With Brito. Long pass in the deep. But as we said, Sharon Maturin, the smallest keeper in the competition. <laughs> but he's very anticipative. That's why he's in the goal, as here we have a fight off between Pantoflet and Anthony Wilfred. The Caribbean Football Union organizes this Caribbean Club Shield with Robin Hood being the most successful team since 2018. They won the tournament twice. And yes year and last year. And here we go by Rocha Cross. Maybe he had to kick it in and not cross it, of course. Shulwen the Rocha, here we go, he escapes, he goes, then he crosses it, but of course, kicked out by the base defender. Almost, 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 this is the second chance that Johan, third chance that Johan is getting. And we go into the 40th minute where Ashar is consulting with Daniel. And uh, long cross by Ashar. Thank you also for the Caribbean Football Union for choosing Curaçao to host this great tournament. It's the second time that we are hosting it. As Young Holland is today playing in his first appearance in this club shield, while base club Last Thursday, in the opening of their first game, they, bought, they 
won the Eagles of St. Martin, also in a red game. A physically strong team. As we see Dahl confronting Anthony Wilford. With the ball, Senius Nicolas. Tall player. He plays it for Elias Jones, who now has his whole chin bandaged. Gaspar touches it for Rosa again. Rosa plays it for Dahl. Dahl, long play by Young Holland. Very long play by Young Holland. I think they are, Young Holland thinks that uh, Mondesir is a bit heavy, Karim Mondesir. But that's not the case because he's a good defender. Dahl again in duel with Anthony Wilfred. They trying to get the game. As Asha comes out, he touches it. Very nice play into the midfield as Gaspar loses it. No, he gets it. He has Rocha with him. Rocha tries to get away. Could not. Change by Jan Holland as Sully, with an early change, had to get out for Dahl. And Brian Anastasia went to play center, with Dahl coming into defensive midfield. Again, Asha and Rosa, both of them at the corner. This time it's going to be Asha taking it. He's going to take it. He knows he's going to take it. There he goes. There he goes, very nice kick. No chance. When Bates Club headed it out again by Mondesir, dominated here by Brito. As they play it back for their keeper with Brian Anastasia, playing now in the cent central defense. When Sully had to come out and Bonifacio plays a long ball. As Derry whistles, free kick for Mondesir. Mondesir behind the ball. Long kick down the middle. Erratic game tonight in Ergilio Hato as both teams cannot hold the ball into the midfield. Playing a bit erratic as the throwout goes in and Rocha has it. He tries to kick it off for Dal. Bad play. Possession of Jones. Jones gives it to Wilfred. Anastasia. To Remy Bonifacio. Dominated by Baptiste, the captain. He has on him Maria. And now it's Nick Longville. He kicks it long. But in the possessions of Maria. Maria with the ball, trying to get through Rocha, Dahl, and Asha. Asha, a go into the attack, into the middle. Great pass to Agar. Gaspar missed it. Great ante anticipation by Maturin, and now it's Base Club who's attacking. We go into the 44th minute of time. Let's see if we have any additional time. And there we go. Goal! Davidson Rosa. This time he made sure that Gerald Maturin could never get to that corner. The second goal of, uh, of Young Holland. As Davidson Rosa. Davidson Rosa. course the second goal here's a replay as he goes towards the goal puts it on his right foot up to the north corner of the corner where Maturin could never get the goal Young Holland two base club zero and St. Lucia has to do something about this Otherwise, they're going to be flying home tomorrow. There's two more minutes additional time. 
to play. We have two minutes of additional time as the game continues, as erratic as it started, into the midfield with Nick Longville. Uh, Rio Longville leaving the ball behind for Genius Nicolas. He's going to throw it in. As Young Holland gets the ball but loses it. He loses it. As Dwelen loses it. There we go again, there's a cross. Kaspar has it for Asha. Asha for Roche. Roche back for Gaspar, playing it long for Rosa. Rosa gets it, they escape. Again, it's Daniel Rosa. He, oh. Very high kick with his left. Meters away from the goal. As Daniel Rosa gets the ball, we see in the replay, Daniel Rosa gets the ball, a good pass, high kick above the goal. There it goes as we continue with the game. Elias Jones loses the ball, and that's it for the first half of the game. When you Holland leads by two goals to zero. Before we go to commercials, we want to mention the partners, Macron, Marca Sports, Powerade, PLUU, Google it, you will find it, Flow Business Curacao. Thank you for the great internet connection so that we can bring this game to you. And thank you to the Federation Football Corso on social media. Follow us on the CFU channel. Thank you, Caribbean Football Unit, for choosing Curacao. They say I can do anything, just not this. That I'm not cut out for the rough and tumble. That it's unladylike and people will call me a tomboy. They say this is a phase I must outgrow because there's no future here for me. They say many things. But I look at Stephanie Dale Yee Singh and Princess Brown, Akila Mullen, Wendy Renard, the Jamaica Reggae Girls, and the women on pitches across the Caribbean, on college campuses, and wearing their national colors. Committed and proud the exceptional ones, the journey women, and the ones who simply feel alive on the pitch. They can't place limitations on me, because right here is where I choose. This is your captain. I get it, rules are rules if he's grounded! It doesn't matter if you speak English. Or if your native tongue is French, Spanish, or Dutch. It doesn't matter if you are male or female, young or young at heart. We in the Caribbean Football Union speak the same language. Football. 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 And we speak with one voice. When is a game more than a game? When it's life. And that's what football is. Life. It's a pathway to good emotional, mental, and physical health. 
the opportunity to network, problem solve, build community, learn, and earn. Blaze Paths. It's patriotism and passion. And it's a place for women and girls to go, where their drive and determination take them in all spheres, on the pitch, in the boardroom, as a match official, coach, manager, medic, journalist, everything. Without limitations, with gender sensitive programming. Because we need to level the playing field with equitable allocation of all the resources. We need safety in facilities, in the personnel, in policies. No violence mentally, emotionally, or physically. And gender sensitive programming. Do we say fair allocation of resources? We belong. We belong. We belong. Break the barriers to women's and girls' participation in football. Ensure that the pitch is a safe space.
And we are back in the second half in the Stadion Ergilio Hato as we have changes already. Yes, yes. FC Base Club made a change. Out, out goes Karim Montesir, the central defender. Of course, as we said, they have played a hard game. Hard game and in comes St. John. St. John number 12 has taken over Mondesir after he played bravely in the first game when they won the Eagles. But it's uh, this is a hard tournament on the players, I must say, because of the short time of rest. But it's a great tournament. It's a Caribbean tournament and it's a lovely tournament because it's it's been playing since 2018 into the Caribbean islands, which bring football much closer to the people. As we go out with FC Base Club trying to get an equalizer in this half, with Young Holland ahead 2 to 0 as the ball is played into the middle. As Timothy Derry from Trinidad decided that it's a free kick, and this is a very dangerous situation for Base Club. It was a hard play on George Brito. And it's gonna be a free kick. And behind the ball is Daniel Rosa, Asha Bernardes, with Brito looking on. Base club is doing the barrier. As Maturin, Asha goes uh, right into the hands of Maturin. He takes it out quickly. Trying to play it for Nick Longville. Here. As Rio Longville is down. And Zinus Nicolas brings it out for the captain, Baptist. Baptist, here back, playing for Anthony Wilfred. He's trying to get it. Playing right now is Dwayne Maria. Maria plays it across. Brian, Brian has uh, Asha Bernardes with him. Long play at, as always by Asha trying to get Gaspar in with no luck whatsoever because Michael James has it. He gets assistance as they kick it out into the midfield. Fought of here by Dahl. Captain Dwayne Baptist leaves it as Michael James tries to get it to Thomas Fields, who came in for Leonti. As Holland plays into his uh, defense, 
defense part of the field. Playing the ball as, as Mariana has it. Brian has it. Brian Anastasia had it. And now he plays it for uh, Asha Bernardes back to his keeper, Bonifacia. Asha comes out with it. Long play again as usual. Looking for Gaspar. There we go. And Asha is uh, touching it back for his goalkeeper. As we go into the 47th minute into Stadion Ergilio Hato. We have a total of eight games played tonight. This is the eighth game starting Thursday. We play Thursday, Friday, and today, Saturday. As we go into the third day of the Caribbean Football Union club field, a tournament established in 2018 as a long pass of your Holland, who goes out. And there goes fireworks. We're getting some fireworks there. This is a... Uh, As the game continues, it's Thomas Fields playing it for his keeper. Maturin throws it out in possession of Nicolas. As Anthony Wilfred loses it from Dahl, and Dahl plays it back in, in his defensive end to Ashar, always playing, having good passes, Ashar. And the CFU would also like to remind you about the CFU U14 Challenge Series established in 2018. It's the Challenge Series. After we played this club shield, we're traveling to Trinidad for the CFU Under-14 Challenge Series. It's a developmental competition that caters to boys and girls in alternate years. As Young Holland is fighting it off here from base club, the competition provides total development introducing players to international competition at the age, early age of 14. The Challenge Series also trains match officials in synergy with the CFU Next Generation Referee course. So it's a double header here for CFU. As Alvir has it, Rio Longville, he's going past Pantoflet, and he crosses it into the hands of Bonifacia. It's Rio Longville with a good cross at the 50th minute with Young Holland going slowly ahead. As Shervin Benjamin gives the last instruction to his team with base club trying to get it away. Loss of ball here as the top scorer, Davidson Rosa. Takes the ball from Pantoflet. Played in the middle by Gaspar. Here we go. Shervanda Rosa, a hard kick by Shervanda Rosa. But again, it's Jurel Matias, hard kick by Shervanda Rosa. Rosa. As Anthony Wilford tries to get to the goal, we, we have to replay here. Shuranda Rosa throws a hard, hard ball into the goal, but saved, of course, by Shurel Maturin. Great kick by Shuranda Rosa. 
Hard entry by Wilfred. They're still fighting it off. As Timothy Terry blows his whistle in favor of Base Club from St. Lucia. Elias Jones still in the game. He plays it back to the keeper. Sherelle Maturin, the smallest keeper, I think, that played, the shortest keeper that played, Ender Gilio Hato. I'm, I'm not sure. He's quite sure. Here, attacking again. Genius Nicolas, he's trying to get into the middle. Lost the ball. Jones tries to get it. Hard kick by Young Holland. And tomorrow we also invite you for the fourth day of competition as Wilfred Anthony tries to fight it off with Dal as Asha tries to catch it. It's not. And it's Anthony Wilfred is going for the corner at the 43rd minute of the game. Lazy game, non-tactical, but they are fighting it off into this great tournament as Wilfred Anthony has it and kicked over the goal. Man down, it looks like Baptiste, the, no, it's not a captain. And here we see again, a long kick over the goal as he tries to save it. Genius Nicolas has to go to the midfield to get back in the game as the ball is played back at the defensive end of your Holland with Brian Anastasia with the ball. He kicks it for Ashar Bernardes. Ashar Bernardes plays it long as usual, trying to find a break, but Pantoflet loses it with Michael James. As Pantoflet gives it to uh, Michael James, but your Holland. It's closing down again on base club from St. Lucia. If St. Lucia loses, they will take the plane back home as a long throw in. Rejected here by Maria. Ball again into the high. Dominated here by Longville. Ria Longville played again by Nick Longville this time, as they try to fight it out. Gaspard plays it long, again for Davidson Rosa, who's offside. Check out the anticipation of Real Maturin. Shurel Maturin, goalkeeper of base club, and we're into the 57th minute, 23 more minute 23 more cycles of 60 seconds that's all what FC base club has in order to stay in this tournament but it looks uh, it looks like it's gonna be a bit difficult for them they just came actually from a hard game from against the Martin Eagles where they played in the regional Jean Francisca Stadium and they're trying to get hard here as Thomas Fields is telling them to take his time as we see of course, this great tournament hosted by Curacao. Thank you very much and a word of appreciation of all the CFU personnel here in Curacao. You are all doing a great job. Thank you very much for choosing us to, for being the host of this country as Young Holland is trying to keep 
his advantage of 2-0 as there's a rough play here where Anthony Wilfred goes down and Nick, Nick Longville is asking for a card. He's asking for a card. But Timothy Terry said no, out of the question. He makes his line. He tells uh, Elias Jones, if you're ready to kick, you can kick the ball, but there's not going to be any, any cards here. As, Sh as Shurendel Rocha backs off, they all have to back off. Behind the ball is Nick, is Rio Longville. He's going to take the shot with Zenius Nicolas waiting, Baptist waiting. Rick, and there it goes. Save by Remy Bonifacio. Saved by Remy Bonifacio. A long kick here. Very long kick we see in the replay. Very long kick by Rio Longville and saved by Remy Bonifacio on the edge of the of the goal. Anthony Wilfred behind the ball. As Servan Benjamin looks very worried because he has only 30 minutes more. Gaspar ah. comes out, but taken away here by Thomas Fields. As Baptist has the ball, he plays it back for his defensive line. Michael James trying to get into the middle. Dominated here by Jones. No. Young Holland of Curaçao playing in its uh, national stadium ahead 2-0 above base club from St. Lucia. Welcome St. Lucia to Curaçao. We're glad to have you here as we see the bright colors of our flags reflecting into the seats of Ergilio Hato. Well, you see those chairs shining yellow and blue. That's our national colors representing our national flag as Young Holland is trying to go ahead with another goal, but no chance as Nick Longville takes it away. But right now again in the, in the possession of Young Holland as Maria tries to fight it off. Erratically in the penalty area of base club. As the ball goes by, Jones, no ball possession whatsoever by base club. And Johalen trying to survive in that erratic game shown by base club. That's another problem in Johalen. He has this team has five months without playing at the in the national championship, so they are also out of routine, which explains the erratic game actually. As Timothy Terry whistles again, we are going to the 62nd minute of the game and it seems as if the boys from St. Lucia are hands on the hip. Hands on the hip as shown by Rajit Eugene. It's logical too because they only had one day of rest after a hard game against Eagles of St. Martin where they won that game in the preliminary rounds to get into the more serious boys as they are facing Young Holland right now who's also not showing the greatest game they had in the last days. Ashar Bernardes dominating here, always long, looking for the true pass into the hands of Shirel Maturin, as we said, one of the shortest keepers we saw ever in this Ergilio Hato stadium. As a matter of fact, Ergilio Hato was a goalkeeper and a very tall one. So here we go, playing the 63 minute of this game. As Zinius Nicolas trying desperately, base club trying desperately as Wilfred, 
Anthony Wilfred tries to get out of defense of Dahl, but there he whistles. Ball in possession of Young Holland of Curacao. This is Young Holland's third presentation to the club field. First one was in 2019 when we hosted it. Actually, Young Holland hosted it as a host team in the same stadium, all games were played. But then again came the COVID period. 2022, they participated in 2023. They participated where Robin Hood emerged victorious in both the club shield and the Caribbean Cup afterwards. Which is which makes Robin Hood the most successful team in the history of this tournament as Gaspar makes a long pass. But it's Thomas Fields who took the possession of Leonti and doing a good job actually. As we see some youngsters of Young Holland making the warm up. As Lennox Moritz knows, he has to play a lot of games. So, intent of Maria trying to get there. Maria tried to get there without any luck. As Michael James tried to get it out, long kick again. Blocked by Ashar Bernardes. Also an ex-international for Curacao. And again, it's a senior Nicolas. He plays it for his captain, Baptist. Blocked by Gaspar. Tried off by Brito. On the line now. It's a pass of Jones. With no luck. Lennox Morris is calling his, uh, he's looking. Yeah, Holland is playing. Actually, their third club shield, as we said. Team manager Stanley Gonet. The, the team is 105 years old. In the regular season that they played five months ago. They had 11 wins, six draws, and one loss. The Curacao has a playoff system with the first six teams making the first playoff, then the first four teams, then the two teams go for a playoff. And we were playing when the, when the championship stopped. Standout players is Brian Anastasia, Daniel Rosa, and Ashar Bernardes. Eye out for Davidson Rosa. He's a power forward with a good instinct for positioning and goal scoring. As we saw today, he made two of them. And there's a change. Comes in the youngster, Shunio Floranas. Shunio Floranas is in the game. As you go and he passes for Maria. Where Rosa is blocked there by Thomas Fields. The ball is played. So George De Brito, George, George De Brito is out. As Floranos goes in, and there's a whistle. A hard knock again, oh no. It's Elias Jones was knocked down again. This time by Dal. This time by Dal, Adelbert Dal had the knock. And it's Rosa, it's Elias Jones is down. For the second time, as Dahl gets assistance, here we go for the replay with a great confrontation between Elias Jones and Dahl, and it's Jones going down and then Dahl going down afterwards. 
Both players are down now after the confrontation as Sherman Benjamin is going to make his change. He's discussing the tactics with two players because he has 22 more minutes as Dahl walks off. Adelbert Dahl. Y Bong Bini corso una estación Ergilio Hato naturalmente de orden de noche a hoy. El primer partido de Young Holland. Tengo de Budi Holland en Caribe en Club Shield. Sé que desde tres días con Young Holland tenga el torneo aquí. En 2019, no hay un gran estación Ergilio Hato. Y después no va en 2022, 2023. Sé que desde cuatro días de facto. Según nos conté yo. En 2023, Robin Hood. A Saldi campeón. That was a little papiamento. We gave it, of course, to the local supporters. As Anthony Wilfred goes, he's trying to get in. He plays it long to the right side. Offside. As Brian Anastasia is raising hands. As Brian Anastasia is raising hands. to Stephen Mayberry and asking Stephen Mayberry what is going on here. And now another change in the FC base. Two changes coming in is Dupre and Octave. Octave and Dupre are coming in Octave and Dupre are coming in as El Elias Jones goes out with 20 minutes to play. It's a good thing that Jones is going out because he's running out of luck, I would say. As the game goes on, as Gaspar dominates here. As Roche is on the line, lost the ball, and it's goal kick. Roche is saying he's not... He does not agree with it. Rosa saying they do not agree with it. But that's not what Timothy Derry decided. And the game goes on as everybody wants the game to go on. Mike Jones, James, hard entry here by Pantoflet. Long play into the hands of Bonifacia. Yes, I can imagine assistance here as Pantoflet had a very hard entry. Aldrich Pantoflet. As Dwayne Maria is watching, they give an assistance here to Dupre. He just entered actually. Dupre just entered the game and he's done. He's down after very hard entry by Dwayne Maria. Dwayne Lon Maria. Winger for Young Holland, that traditional color is uh, red, blue, and white. I think they're going to be playing into the next game. They're going to be playing in that uniform. As they play today in their gold uniform, back to Bonifacia. Bonifacia there with, uh, with Brian Anastasia. Long play by Bonifacia, trying to get hold of Pito Rocha. Lazy game, un untechnical game, erratic game actually, as we notice that uh, Jahalen is completely out of range as Ria Longville is thinking what to do with the ball, while Davidson Rosa. Holland wants to be recognized as a leading club known for its commitment to excellence, as they say they, in their write-out 
cross and Boniface has it out. Nice header by Nicolas, but Bonifacio was on time as the ball goes into corner. Yeah, here comes a nice header in the replay by Nicolas, and Bonifacio takes it out right at the right moment, almost a goal there. Nice header again. Knocked out by Ashar Bernardes. As Baptiste raises his hand, he leaves it for Nicolas. Nicolas throws it in. He crosses it over. Pantoflet is down. He got a, a kick in his face. As we say, the mission of Young Holland is to inspire and to unite our community through the power of soccer. We are dedicated to developing talent. They do. They are from the, right now they are home placed in a neighborhood called Mundo Novo. But originally, the team moved a lot these last years from another neighborhood called the Savan. After that, they went to Mundo Novo in Zakito. They want to be engaging fans and promoting teamwork, integrity. And they do want to win the club shield. The closest they've been is in the quarterfinals in 2019 when we played in Curacao. It's just a hard entry here. And Baptiste and everybody saying what's going on here. As Timothy Terry puts down the ball for Pantaflet to go kick. Number three, lateral defense of Young Holland, Pantoflet. He's leaving it behind for Asha. Asha's Pantoflet is going the line. When Dupre makes a hard entrance back on Pantoflet, when in the Caribbean Football Union Club Shield would be coronation of all hard work of all players and leaders of the organization. Yeah, Holland is a very professional team in Curacao, organized, organized, well organized, and they have one of the best local head coaches. As we go for Gaspar, goes back here in the penalty area of base club. Gaspar knocks it back and a cross by Shurendal Rocha stays off corner. And we're playing the 76th minute of the game here in the Ergilio Hato Stadium. Thank you very much, Caribbean Football Union, for bringing this tournament to Curacao and bringing your partners also to Curacao. As we have Macron, Marca Sports, as the cross goes over by Arsha. And we continue with Powerade with the app Bell, B L U U from our friend Carrayo Flow Business Curacao for setting up this beautiful wide internet so that we can enjoy all the plays of the Caribbean Football Union Club Shield Tournament. And follow us on the Caribbean Football Union on social media as we go by a pass by Bonifacio. Yes, yes, Curacao. Bong bini Curacao na Caribbean football. Football Caribense. It's like the torneo di Caribbean Club Shield. Established in 2018. And here we have the replay again of the game going. Both teams trying, of course, to score. Rechazo, as we call it. See, Pinendo back na papimento sa gita Caribbean Football Club Shield. Establecido na 2018. Ito organizado bia ke pa Caribbean Football Union. Antes estaba ta CONCACAF. Kutaba ta organizado, pero Caribbean Football Union pa pa unda Jean Francisco, por cierto, ta vice-presidente ainda. 
a turma é anfitrião, para estar anfitrião de torneio tremendo que caminha 20 team de Caribe Bini para competir 10 dias largo. E há um de favorito na Caia Fó. Caminha nos está ganha. É ganador de finalista na Copa de Caribe, acabando o campeonato de Conca Caps na Sigicana. That was a little ex explanation for our local population in Papiamento as hard entries characterizes again as the young man Floranas is making his debut in the club field, club shield. Dal plays it long, trying to get Rocha. Rocha is there. He, he chops it. And a uh, goal! Nice play by Rocha. Nice chop. That makes it 3-0. There you go. He was looking for it. He was looking for it. And he finally got it. And there you see, he chops it on his right hand. He kicks it right into the right corner. He was looking at goal by Rocha. Great kick. Pito Rocha, we call him. <laughs> yes, yes, Rocha. He was looking it. He was searching for that goal for a long time. As we see, that makes it quite impossible. My fans from St. Lucia, we were glad to have you here. There's a change going on, and coming in right now is Willie. Willie would be coming in. Willie comes in. And Anthony Wilfred is out. Anthony Wilfred is out as Willie goes in. As the play continues with 10 minutes to go and almost impossible for St. Lucians to get this three goal disadvantage into a tie game as they fight it out with Baptiste trying to find, of course, Longville. Genius Nicolas also trying. And now Lennox Morris is going to send his young team. He knows he has to play more, more games. So he has a couple of juniors in the team. So he's going to send them out and rest his players because this is a tournament you need to rest. You need to rest very much. There's a... They will be facing... Long play ahead as they dominated. As Dal had a great, great game, Dal. He played well. Pantoflet made a hard entry on the youngster, Octave. And here we see the replay again of this hard entry as Dal enters hard into Octave that brings him down with his right knee. Three changes from Young Holland. How can we keep this up? Oriel Moke is coming in. Oriel Moke is coming in. Adriel Maria is coming in. As Rio Longville tries to get across and also Antonio Upia all three young players that's walking out as Maria is going out enter smoke Maria another Maria and Moke and Upia uh, cross here. Longville has it. He goes on the sideline. He tries to get it. So it's a corner. It's a it's a goal kick. As the youngster, Adriel Maria, made his first play in the Caribbean Club Shield. There we go on the left hand side, defended by Young Holland, played by Upia. Opi is fighting the ball. He has it. He tries to get out. But hard play here. Welcome to the Caribbean football, Opia. As they go, the youngster has it again. 
And there goes Dahl. Moak has it. And the youngsters are showing base club that they can kick the ball. As Oriel Moak is staying into the forward line and now coming back to face. Long play here, lost by Nick Longville. As Octave made a long play here. As we go into the final minutes of the game, seven, seven more minutes. Jean Gaspar is out for your Holland. As Ria Longville is getting ready for the corner kick. At the 84th minute, it's a high kick. And headed away by Rosa. And Davidson, Davidson Rosa tries to get it. Yes. As the ball is played hide. And Timothy Derry blows his whistle. And tension, there's only one man kicking the ball tonight for base club. And that's Rio Longville. He's going to cross it again. They want to get that goal. Highs a nice cross into the hands of Bonifacio. No luck today with the headers by base club. As Bonifacio watches, he knows what he's doing. He looks up. Hand pass. Wide. Of course, to Rosa. To Floranos. Floranos loses the ball. As Nicolas loses the ball to Rosa again. Erratic game. That's all what we can do and say tonight. But then again, playing against... Uh, base club who keeps on running behind the ball it's going to be difficult to control it when there's a clash here between Moog and Flonanos is pushing Baptist the way these youngsters look at them another one passing by is Maria Lennox Morris is making a wise decision in bringing the youngsters in because he knows the next game might be against Ornette Gardens. We don't know what the result is on that side. Another heavy team. So it's going to be oh, hard entry here. Hard entry here. It looks like on Peter Rocha. As Ashar Bernardes goes behind the ball. Into the 86th minute with four remaining. With four minutes remaining, Holland again in the middle. A corner kick. A corner kick at the 87th minute. Thank you, Corso, Padunto Konosawe Riba, YouTube channel, the Caribbean Football Union. And we see here the replay into the corner play here. Nice cross that went into the corner. We are standby for the corner kick. As Sherwin Benjamin is still given instructions. Touched here by Ashar. And uh, he's trying to find a youngster as Roger break through here. As Rio Longville goes. Only one defender is Brian Anastasia. And he saves it. Brian saves it. He saves it again. Good defending by Brian. And now comes Rosa as Brian has it. Very good defending. They lose the ball again. As Octave tries to cross it into the hands of Remy Bonifacio. He has all the time because we're going into the 88th minute. 
We are going into the 88 minutes and the final minutes of this game as Young Holland has a 3-0 advantage. Nice play here. Great play by Upia. He's still fighting it off. Nice in the middle. Wow. Hard entry here. By St. John. Here we see the hard entry again by St. John on the youngster, Upia. Very hard entry. And also dangerous play here. Very hard entry. As we go. We go for a dangerous free kick at the 89th minute. Tiro peligrosísimo delante de Arco defender by El Pequeño Shurel Maturin. As you go by St. Lucia, we will teach you. Before saying goodbye to you, we will teach a bit Papiamento. We hope this game turns into a friendship between Curacao and St. Lucia. Because I think we're going to be meeting each other again into the World Cup qualifying. And here's the kick by Rosa. I think we're going to be seeing it. I think the national selection of St. Lucia is going to be playing in the Ergilio Hato. Oh, there's a, there's a long play here by Octav. He's searching. There you go. And now it's Will who's trying to get it. There was a bit of rumble there. Fist throwing when one of the base players threw, threw a fist towards the player of uh, Young Holland. As I was saying, it's a farewell to St. Lucia. Thank you for being here. And if we're going to be meeting, I think we are in the same pool as the as the as the Concacaf qualifying. Long cross by base club. Here by Rosa, the young Florana says it. He goes in the middle for two, Upia, dangerous young player, but Baptiste has it. Ow. There's a strong entry again. As we go. We're playing in the final minutes. Let's see what the additional time is saying. As James and uh, Longville are trying to get it. Get it out. St. Lucia is heading back home tomorrow. It's almost impossible to tie this game. And we still don't have the additional time. No additional time showing. Trying to get additional time here. We passed the 90 minutes. We have four minutes of additional time, of which two more to go. Game is getting rough here. Two more minutes as Holland is leading 3 to 0 in the first appearance of the 2024 Caribbean Club Shield. As we go to the long pass, Roche is passing again. There you go. They, they got him. They tried to bring him down. He's getting out of it. He's crossing it. Taken away here. 
the youngster Antonio Pia, he tried to kick it in. Nice play by Roja again. As we go. For the long play into the hands of Benjamin. Remy Bonifacio. Last minute of play, Stadion Ergilio Hato. Long kick outside the field. And Timothy Derry is taking a look at his watch to see how much longer this game is going to go on. And there goes the final blow, final whistle. Holland wins the match 3 to 0 as we go into the field for interviews. They say I can do anything, just not this. That I'm not cut out for the rough and tumble. That it's unladylike and people will call me a tomboy. They say this is a phase I must outgrow because there's no future here for me. They say many things. But I look at Stephanie Dale Lee Singh and Princess Brown, Akila Mullen, Wendy Renard, the Jamaica Reggae Girls, and the women on pitches across the Caribbean, on college campuses, and wearing their national colors. Committed and proud. The exceptional ones, the journey women, and the ones who simply feel alive on the pitch. They can't place limitations on me, because right here is where I choose to be. It doesn't matter if you speak English, or if your native tongue is French, Spanish, or Dutch. It doesn't matter if you are male or female, young or young at heart. We in the Caribbean Football Union speak the same language. Football. 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 And we speak with one voice. When is a game more than a game? When it's life. And that's
that's what football is. Life. It's a pathway to good emotional, mental, and physical health. The opportunity to network, problem solve, build community, learn, and earn. Blaze paths. It's patriotism and passion. And it's a place for women and girls to go, where their drive and determination take them in all spheres, on the pitch, in the boardroom, as a match official, coach, manager, medic, journalist, everything. Without limitations, with gender-sensitive programming. Because we need to level the playing field with equitable allocation of all the resources. We need safety in facilities, in the personnel, in policies. No violence mentally, emotionally, or physically. And gender-sensitive programming. Do we say fair allocation of resources? We belong. We belong. We, we belong. Break the barriers to women's and girls' participation in football. Ensure that the pitch is a safe space. Lennox Moritz, uh, is like it, uh, yeah, I think it's the three club field, all the quarter, the quarter. But I think it's the result of the way 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 of the Na momento eu posicionava bom, larga bala vai nada, vai ter problema com então. Me queria dar para me imitar, não sou monstro sei, não sou se é óbvio bom. Então já a trobe de dois imitar, ó, um, 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 lilo, se botin na praticamente dois anos se uma bala vão um par e vega, um, em ritmo de vega bom não tem. Então já botam minha reta bem back seca nós, então de dois imitar, me tá contente tô, ó, já não sou queda compacto, não sou queda o ante óbvio bom, então já na beira apenas peligroso, me queria com dois tiros riba gol. Então, eu estou contente, nós estamos bem, nós estamos bem, nós estamos bem, para me imitar, nós estamos bem, 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 Tak spar, tak spar. Jadi, ada decision tak pak bos bos aku tak untuk neo di knockout kubo tingku kubo tak kira dia wega dulu. Si no, mesti kira ku nosting algun un talento grande, nosting genio Florian esko abin seka nosa woki. Mita kira egai tu biro un atraksion grande pa futbol. Gai je sayi sayi nosting aturu fila nueva tambeta tinggi sete ayi anto ya lilo bo tingku tu nang panang sinte sabor tambe pa nivel. Anto kan kami rata ambil ku agi nangai football pun terlebih otro anto ya nangai nangai subi mi dopi kontento ku nangai subi bon anto ya nangai saka kara dami. Bon, thank you. Te proximo bega. Te, thank you. Shavran uh, Benjamin, today you had a you, you you had a harder game, but did the game against St. Martin have any influence on the physical performance of your players today? Um, definitely, because um, I mean we played 90 minutes just about um, 48 hours ago, and then to come in to play against a team of um, such quality, I mean it's always difficult. We picked up so many injuries in the previous game, and had to send on players even being injured. So. Of course, it's very difficult um, with the squad already being so thin. I mean, you're only allowed 20 members on your squad and then to play games every 48 hours. It's very, very difficult. It, it was a tough game today. Uh, what, what did you learn from it for the next time, knowing that you're going to have to be playing uh, more games? Um, well, for us, um, now that we know the format of the tournament and understand that we will be playing every 48 hours, I mean, um, Preparation will definitely be key and trying to avoid injuries early on, of course, 
But um, this is football, and the game goes on. Okay, what's the experience you had now uh, for your team in this tournament? Um, we had a pretty good experience. Um, we come from the small island of St. Lucia, and of course, football back home is not very different from here. But um, we enjoyed being here. It was such a challenge to get here um, in itself. Uh, we had definitely a lot of difficulty to get here, but we came and we represented, and I hope that we made our people back home proud, and um, we'll try our best to be back next year. I'm sure you made them proud. So thank you for being here, and I think uh, the Korea Ribbon Football Union is very proud of having you here, Joe. Thank you. Thank you, sir. We go into the highlights, of course, of this great game of base club against Young Holland of Curaçao. Yeah, a lot of uh, attacking by the part. And here, Maturin is explaining and asking, but still the, the attacks were constantly by the part of Young Holland. As we go, and here it goes. There goes the first goal, of course, by Davidson Rosa, who tried to get it in. Again here, he tried to, and he missed it, actually, to make Jaholland go to the second goal. But as the game continues, Pace Club didn't take it as easy as they kept on trying with a lot of crossovers and headers, but had no luck whatsoever in getting that ball behind the net. As we go by, again, this play, this hard play, Especially, Jones had to had bandages, and here a long shot on the goal defended by Remy Bonifacio. Uh, Ashar here takes it long into the hands of uh, Maturin. Of course, again, Maturin is there. He's always there, actually. As we go again, the cross. Saved by hard to a hard kick again as they go along the game. Oh, the, the game was had a lot of hard entry actually, with base club trying each time to get the equalizer. Brave play, brave uh, football, and there we go. Cross and missed again by Young Holland. Young Holland played the erratic game but still came out lucky and here Gaspar again good inter intervention by Maturin and there you go goal on the right hand side the Davidson Rosa for his second score of the night as you Holland kept on attacking here by Rosa again this is Davidson Rosa. He ooh, long kick. Long kick by Daniel Rosa. Great goal defending by Jurel Maturin. Short, but good keeping. 
that kept a lot of goals. His goal save from your Holland, but he couldn't hold all of them. As we go, here again, attack by your Holland. Your Holland had several tries. Long play here, saved by Remy Bonifacio. Another attack into the midfield as your Holland tries to keep it in. Hard entry here by Dahl. Hard entry here by Dahl on Elias Jones. Base club had to do all, all, all the changes. As Shervin Benjamin told us in the interview, his, he, had, he only had 48 hours of rest as we see his players constantly on the pitch. Saved again by Remy Benjamin. Remy Bonifacio, as we go, nice try again by Young Holland. And finally, it's going to be another hard kick by Young Holland. Here is the goal. He kicks it right in. He's been looking for it, Rocha. And she scores it, Pito Rocha. And celebrating the 3 0. Great goal by Rocha. Hard entry again by Dahl. Longville is trying, and this is the change where where uh, Johalen tries to put in his younger players. Of course, it's a knockout tournament. Nice kick again by Young Holland as we go and celebrating their victory. And now they're going to have to face Arnett Gardens from Jamaica.